All eyes are glued to televisions as everyone is waiting to watch Chandrayaan 3's live landing. But Chandrayaan 3 will attempt to land on the moon's south pole today. Success for the moon mission will make India the fourth country to master the technology of soft landing on the lunar surface after the United States, China and the Soviet Union. Now, according to experts, the final 15 to 20 minutes will determine the success of the mission when Chandrayaan 3's Vikram lander and rover Pragyan will make its soft landing. Listen to what former ISRO chief K. Sivan and uh, as well as former top NASA officials had to say about this. This time it's a very, very, very anxious moment. Everybody is working I and mean, uh, looking it very anxiously for this event to happen. And uh, I am sure that this time it will be a grand success. And this mission will gather invaluable data to help drive our understanding of the moon, our ability to utilize resources, and ultimately where we're going to establish settlements on the moon. So this is a vital part of that process. And by the way, whether the mission succeeds or landing or not, the mission itself, in my opinion, is an overall success. So, as we know, we have to face the challenges of the Chandrayaan 3. We have to control the speed of the Chandrayaan 2, because we have to face the Chandrayaan 2 and the Chandrayaan 3. There are many challenges that we have to face when the Chandrayaan 3 has completed its three phases. Then all Indians were proud of it, that yes, it can happen and this is possible. My personal challenge is on the start of the Chandrayaan 3, so I am very proud of it and it is also a very good opportunity for the Chandrayaan 3. Further, uh, right, I have my colleague Pratibha joining us on the broadcast. Uh, Pratibha is joining us from Bengaluru uh, at the Nehru Planetarium. Pratibha, take us through the situation there. How are people excited uh, for Chandrayaan 3? Well, in fact, there is a bit of uh, excitement as well as uh, anxiety among uh, different people here that we see, uh, right from uh, scientists as well as uh, students and uh, different other citizens uh, in Bengaluru. Well, all of them gearing up for the D-Day. I'm at the Nehru Planetarium, as you rightly mentioned, and grand arrangements being done here. What you see right now on your uh, screens is uh, uh, the grand uh, tour that is being organized for uh, students. This talks about uh, this uh, scientific mission, Chandra. Chandrayaan 3, the significance of it, formation of the moon, everything about this, the lander, the soft landing of it and uh, uh, what is significant about the day is that uh, India is uh, also trying to uh, mark itself uh, in history uh, with respect to the scientific mission because it will be the first country to explore the south pole of uh, uh, Earth's natural satellite and uh, it will also become the fourth country to master the technology of uh, so soft landing on the lunar surface. Uh, the planetarium will be open to students. In fact, we see a couple of uh, school buses that are actually making its uh, entry into uh, uh, the premises here and all of them uh, would be um, entering Nehru Planetarium to witness uh, the grand uh, Chandrayaan 3 mission from 5 p.m. onward. There would be live streaming that will be set up here. Two major screens that will be put up here for uh, the live streaming. And this is the science park that you see. So a lot of excitement doing the rounds and all of the uh, members, the authorities of the Nehru Planetarium, busy making arrangements in a short while from now. We will see all of the students uh, deboarding from the bus and entering uh, the Nehru Planetarium. Yes, India is inching itself closer to making history with respect to Chandrayaan 3.